What's up, guys? It's Dan. Um, talk about a few things. First, we'll talk about the last fight. Uh, things went pretty well. I shouldn't have been even in the cage, to be honest with you. Had some injuries, but, you know, pride's an mf -er and you don't want to pull out of a fight. And I changed the way I trained, and I trained a very different way. And health-wise, I've never been better. Um, everything went well as far as the training regimen and workouts were concerned. So I, the injury didn't even play a factor, but what played a factor was my head. The mental state it takes to fight is pretty hard to stay in and pretty hard to handle. I have a lot of anxiety anyway, and then the fighting just adds to it. When we fought, I felt fine. At 155, I feel as strong as anybody. I feel good going up to 170 for this next fight. The big things, the different rules with the commission, they don't let you take the medicine I'm prescribed to take for my anxiety, and it makes it really hard to handle. With the title fights, they drug test you, and you don't want to ever get busted for PED, so leading up to fights, you don't get to do it. So no matter when I'm fighting, I don't take it just in case of random tests and it makes it where you're not right in the head leading up to a fight like my last fight I got caught in a move because I did a lot of bad mistakes I knew what he was doing and I made a lot of stupid errors and then when he locked in a triangle I circled the wrong way which is just something you do when your mind's not right and you justify unjustifiable things and just ridiculous actions because your focus is just not there so fighting's kind of a weird process for me, and I'm trying to figure this all out with medicine and everything else, but one of the things we're doing is these different style of workouts, and it's really good for me. And then another thing, I've got a great team behind me, and in these videos, I'd like to introduce a lot of these guys to you. We've got some really good amateurs coming up, and these guys are like, some of them are going to be ready to go pro, and some of them are just winning amateur titles right now and whooping everybody with knockout power and then this other kid he's just picking everybody up and slamming them through the freaking mat and just beating the crap out of everyone and it's awesome I mean these dudes have potential we got kids classes opening up thirty dollars a month cheapest kids rates you'll ever find really working on a martial arts theme and trying to just teach them discipline it's gonna be a lot of fun We'll have some different summer programs opening up for all kinds of different age groups, but right now I'm just kind of focusing on the kids' classes for my kids, these holistic workouts for the mind. I've got some military veterans, so anybody out there that's a vet, it's just a mix of yoga and martial arts and all kinds of different stuff to get your cardiovascular system up to help promote brain function. A lot of big things coming with some of that stuff, and we'd really like to get some more vets in and get you guys trying these programs out so reach out to me if you're interested in it it's a really good thing and i hope everybody has a great week and for all those going to officer Kuntz's uh, funeral today god bless you guys and god bless him it's been a horrible tragedy and it's been pretty wonderful seeing the community come together and i think everybody needs to keep trying to add to that and i'm going to do my part too so keep doing good Bad news.